Hey YouTube, I hope you're all doing well. I uh, just want to share um, an experience I had with this NOCO uh, GBX45, the little jump, jump packs or whatever. These are really cool when they work. Uh, I've had this for a couple years. Uh, I had it in my truck for a while and went to use it and um, it wasn't working because it was discharged. I tried to charge it and it wouldn't charge. So I put the, the USB-C uh, cable in the, the charge port and it just wouldn't respond. No lights, no nothing, no whatever. So I was like, not feeling really great about that because there's it was just like bricked so i got to doing some research and found out a way to when they're super discharged um, a way to get them charged back up and working again so basically within the unit you have four lithium-ion batteries that are in series and normally you'd be around maybe 15 16 17 volts um, on those batteries and that voltage is what runs the electronics that controls the charge ports and all that. Uh, the charge ports need on average about five volts to run minimum. They'll run down to maybe four volts and um, if they get below that um, they're not uh, able to turn on to accept the charge and charge back up. So the way these are set up is the when you put this on a battery the the, the positive is always connected to the battery and then the negative is switched on and off um, so that's important to know so I have access to the positive side of the battery through this but I don't have a way to get to the negative side of the battery except through uh, the <clears throat> the uh, ports on the back so the shielding the outside of these ports is connected to a ground plane on the PCBs inside so what I did um, was I got a USB cable and you want to make sure that there's continuity between each end of the, uh, the cable and then you can plug it into, it's going to sound weird, but it's to the output and then you can take this. So now I have access to the ground and I have access to the positive and what I can do is grab my handy dandy power supply and set it to 9 volts which I've already done and then set it to about uh, 50 milliamps because you don't want to run too much current through the ground plane um, of this unit. I'm not sure what well they're not rated at all I'm sure for this application but we're basically dealing with a brick. Um, so what you can do is um, connect the negative here and then the positive there and you now have a connection from your charger to the batteries in here um, like I say I fixed this already so the batteries apparently at 13.3 volts are low but they're they're not as low as uh, to cause a problem but if they were low I think they were maybe like two and a half volts um, so I was able to hook these up charge this up and what you can do since we're using the output is you can put your charge cable in the charge port and then when the battery comes up to um, where the the charge circuit starts working then the charger will start working you'll see the charge lights and you'll see everything working correctly um, so that was um, a big relief it worked really well and then Obviously, once it starts charging, you can disconnect all this other stuff and you're done. Um, but you may be asking, I don't have a power supply. And these are really cool. I didn't think I'd use it as much as I do, uh, but they're super handy. Um, and they're like 50, 60 bucks or whatever, so they're not uh, too awfully expensive. But I was also thinking, instead of using that, you could also use a 9-volt battery, uh, very similarly. Um, and to limit the current, you can use a low wattage uh, light bulb. So this happens to be an 1895 bulb, is 12 volt, like out of a car or something. And uh, this is just under four watts. So it's, uh, with a nine volt battery, it should be like uh, 200 milliamps, which should be okay. So if you're gonna use, um, you know, try the battery. And if you try it, leave a comment um, down below and uh, let me know how it works. But the, the basic premise would be you'd, you'd grab the positive side of the 9 volt and hook it to the positive side here and then take your 
a USB, which is the negative, and this is, gets a little bit confusing, but you'd connect one side of the, uh, the bulb to, well, that's probably a good way to do it, to the battery, then you just connect here, and the bulb will limit the current so you don't, um, uh, so you don't you know, put too much current through the unit. So if you try that, let me know. Uh, it should work. Uh, just make sure you use a small bulb, nothing more than four or five watts, uh, just to limit the current. And uh, like I say, leave it um, on the charger and until the actual charger starts working, and then, then you're good. Uh, so if this works, um, like I say, let me know uh, down below, and uh, please um, like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Take care. Have a good day.